Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina in Lake Tinny Como. We're going to do one cast today. Today is Sunday the 19th of April. I have boated up here. I'm at Lookout Island, which is about a mile and a half below the dam, below Table Rock Dam. They are running 15,000 CFS. It's four units, and I believe they're still running two floodgates. My plan is to start below the island and work this bank all the way down, probably past the Narrows, which is about a two mile run. It's uh, got about a half inch of rain last night, but Table Rock continues to drop, which is a good thing. Kind of cloudy, about 60 degrees out. Saw a couple other boats out. Uh, Blake is out fishing. He's throwing his big stick, stick bait. I think he's going for the big fish today. Don't know how he's done. I'm going to throw a Sculpin color jig, which is kind of an olive brown, brown olive with a sculpin head, four pound line. I'm gonna throw it off the end of this island where it drops off from being real shallow to deeper back here off the backside. Caught some good fish here a few days ago. Basically, I'm just gonna throw it kinda on top of it and let it swing down below it. I'm going to jig it a little bit, give it a little bit of life. Reel just a little bit, eighth ounce jig, that would go to the bottom. It's not real deep out there, so. Hmm, no bite. I'm really surprised. There was something. There was something. Oh, I just ruined my first cast. No, I didn't. About three bites. I even saw that last one. We do keep score only on the first cast. Yeah, that was pretty poor. They're back here in this little slower, deeper water. And I am so slow. They're liking this color jig, but... I'm just... not doing very good. Took Marsha and my wife out last night. We drifted Meadows in front of the resort. Made two drifts from above the resort down through Cooper Creek and she outfished me. She had me down four to zip. I finally caught one, a little one. Nice, pretty rainbow. I'm gonna stay here just a couple more minutes. We've caught some pretty nice fish off this drop off. Have been fishing white here, but they've kind of gotten off white, so I'm going to a different color. Missed him again. Okay, now we're going to 
go over in the fast water and go on down. What I try to really do is hit these little slow spots in the current against the bank. this bank so can't let it go down too much too far it's you lose a lot of jigs especially right here there's several trees in the water and you can't see them because the water is high kind of try to work over the top of them. Also got a boat right below me and I want to just kind of hold myself in the current till they're clear. I don't want to run down on top of them. It's another really good spot right past this tree. You either catch a fish or you lose a jig. I just missed him. It's gonna be one of those days. to catch some smallmouth on this bank. Hopefully with this color jig I think I have a better chance. If I was in Table Rock I'd be using this color jig. A big old tree right here. I've got four other rods rigged with jigs, so I'm prepared to lose a few jigs. I gotta slow down a little bit. see where I'm throwing. I'm throwing behind these trees in the pockets where there's no 
current. There's a tree right here, so I've got to let it drop and fish until it gets down that tree, and then I got to go a little faster to hop over it. But there are trees under the water that I can't see, too. It's hard to keep up with all of them. Not starting out very good. Uh-oh. I don't want to... I don't want to lose a jig on the bank. Well, that looked like a bite. I'm using my troll motor to slow my boat down because the the water out here where, where the boat is, there's a fish, is a lot faster than than the water I'm fishing, so I've got to kind of hold myself in the current so the boat doesn't pull me out of the spot I'm fishing. This is a nice fish. It's a very colorful rainbow. It might be a brown. It's not a small mouth though. It's a brown. He is not a keeper, but he's close. I'd say he's about 18 and a half, 18. Okay, I got to get off the troll motor. That's a nice male. Kind of skinny, long, long jaw. Yeah, yeah. And he's got teeth. Be good, be good. Oh, you're so good. Thank you. Whew. All right. Back on the troll motor. Oh, there are some good spots I missed. I'm down to the, the big tree. Somebody's calling me. I'll have to call her back. The big tree that fell was the last year. Oh, there we go. A lot of really good water behind it. The water really slows down. It's a good spot. There's one. Now that's a rainbow. I don't think he's that big. Man, he's pulling. Probably shouldn't be doing this. <sighs> this pretty good size rainbow. Ah. Don't, thank you. Good job. Good job. Okay. Mm. I was 
just about ready to say I've not lost a, a jig yet and I've caught some nice fish. Oh, there we go. But I just lost one. Yeah, I got some good spots right here. Same jig, four pound line. Good spot. Those last two came really pretty close to the bank. Throwing out, letting it sink, jigging a few times, letting it sink. They had hit it on the Not the second jig. Good spot right there below that tree. A little short on the cast. Excuse me, the water's pretty fast through here, so. Doesn't mean there's not any fish, you just have to work it a little bit slower. The current doesn't let it get down quite as easily. The water is still. That yeah, was bottom. A little fast around here into a pool below. That brown nicked me a little bit. That's okay. I'll try that spot right next to that tree. And there's a fish there. Little rainbow. Get him in quick. Okay. Glad I went to this dark jig. The, the white jig is is it's really slowed down. Um, now Blake is still catching fish on a on his white jerk bait and also dragging those little small two and a half three inch. Uh, minnow baits, but it has slowed down quite a bit. I guess he was fishing that jerk bait last night, caught a 22 inch rainbow. He said he lost a brown about nine pounds. Oh.
this is really fun hitting these these holes hitting the spots and way out from the back. Nice fat rainbow. I'm missing a lot of good water. Well, I'm just gonna have to miss it. in the net buddy and it's in your mouth just a, just a second I think I can get it out pretty easy here we go how many spots on that fish kind of bent my hook a little bit oh yeah I'm missing a lot of good water Nice big long eddy right there and I'm right at the very base of it. Yeah, still got a fish. Little one. Still good water right here. I'd like to throw right next to these trees. I could keep this one because he's less than 12. That's the first one. Right? There, I just about threw in the tree. If you're wondering, I've got an 80 pound 24 volt Mencota. I'm working pretty hard. This is a great long stretch right here. And you know when they when they run less water, oh there is a fish. It changes everything about fishing this bank. In some cases, when they run less water, um, there's less eddies. It kind of runs through faster. You just gotta pretty much take it as it comes. Of course, when they get down to two units, you're not really fishing eddies then, you're, you're just fishing this water because the water is slow enough, those fish are not necessarily going to be in the eddies because it's just, they can handle the, the speed of the water any place. Not that this is super fast, but find more fish in this slow water. Ooh, he just he just ate it. A little rainbow chased it. I gave up on that. I was about ready to say I'm going to just kind of give it a break because 
My next eddy is like down here. Ah, uh, that's a big fish. That's crazy. He was way out. This, and you know, I, I was thinking that I may, maybe I should just come up here and back way off and just fish this water out here, um, away from the bank. I mean, they they they'll hug the bottom. Just got to get down there. Pretty, pretty profitable run here. Nice run though. Pretty, pretty fish. See my jig. Okay. I'm gonna have to go down with this camera. Oh, jig's out. I see now. Okay. Fell through the net. Don't flop on me, buddy. Nice rainbow. Yeah, it went through the net. Came out of his mouth. Ooh, big Eddie. Big midge hatch coming off. It's a lot of midges on the water. It's interesting, I don't see any uh, barn swallows. We had tons of them out here a couple nights ago. None out here tonight, and there's lots of bugs for them to eat. Those, those birds might have been migrating through. Very possible. Good fish. Nice rainbow. Oh, he's not, not fighting like the last one. Oh, shoot. I apologize. I'm glad I lost that fish. I just may cut that out. I don't think <laughs> I did not turn the camera back. Probably fished for five minutes or so, and you're probably looking at my feet. I hooked that one fish and lost it. It was a decent rainbow. I think I'll probably edit that whole section out. There's no reason for you to suffer through that. I don't think I said anything important. I don't know if I'll go under that tree or not. I'm just going to Reel in, throw back out. I am gonna not work the bank through the uh, through the narrows. I'm gonna stay out away from the bank and just kind of work the channel. Just kind of work it deep. Water gets really fast through there.
really let it sink, get down there close to the bottom. It's where the fish are sitting. Kind of get that jig in front of them. I'm just gonna let it drift until I see it bump and bottom and then I'll start working it. There's not a whole lot of snags through here. Ooh. That is either a fish or the bottom. So I'm just gonna kinda let it roll. It's gonna be interesting to see if there's any changes to the to this water right here. We've had so so much water running for so long. It tends to change this area a little bit sometimes. It has changed that area that goes in behind Eagle Island a lot. I think one of these days, it could be 10, 20 years from now, we might have a pretty good stream going back behind there. Lose a few more of those trees and you get just about, just take off and drift back there. That'd be kind of cool. I know Dwayne and, and um, Blake came up and fished the back side of Eagle Island the other day. And uh, um, I know they talked about how much woods back there. There's a, that's good. Flipped off my finger. There are a lot of down trees back there. It's just, the bottom is littered with them. And if there's not four units running in the, in the depth of water back there, it's, you just can't even get back there. The breeze. There's so much wood along this bank, close to the bank, that I'm not even gonna try to go back there. dive into the bank here just below this little point. It's probably bottom. I'm gonna quit after I hit this last eddy below these trees. I'm afraid we're gonna lose that whole group of trees. I got a fish. I was not looking for that. Good one too. Cause I wanted to throw over there. Yeah, there's a lot of trees right there that's gonna go all at one time. They open like a 20,000 CFS again for any amount of time. Drop it. I don't have to worry about putting it back. I'm 
Another quality rainbow. Man, I tell you, it's, I, I've told several friends in town, I run into at Walmart or whatever, I've never seen this many quality trout in this lake in the 37 years I've been here. Never. We, we'll see We'll see fish like this, but not not the number, and not 20 inches and in, or more. It just it, this is, and we're finding them up here. We're finding them below below Fall Creek, and it's it's so. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's I love it. Just wish there were more people here to enjoy it. End on illegal fish. 11 inches. I gotta get that phone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you tomorrow. Blinky. Yeah.